Nordlingen is one of the most attractive of the towns in the central part of the Romantic Road. As all the tourist guides mention, it shares with its neighbors to the north, Rothenburg and Denkelspool, that distinction of being one of the only remaining walled medieval towns in Germany. Nordlingen, however, is far less crowded than the other two and offers an additional attraction of geological interest, being located in the crater of a meteorite impact and with its impressive tower being built of the rock formed from that impact. The particular geological features of the rise have intrigued geologists for several centuries. Different explanations appeared. The presence of suvite and volcanic tufts have long favored volcano theory. In 1805, Matthias von Fleur, founder of geology in Bavaria thus defines the rise as an ancient volcano. In 1870, Carl Wilhelm van Gumbel studied the distribution of Suavit in the crater, and concluded that there was a rise Vulcan, which, however, disappeared completely during the history of the Earth so that only the rocks ejected by it, are observable. In 1901, Wilhelm Branko and Eberhard Frost tried to prove that it was not a volcano. An underground magmatic chamber would have first raised the subsoil before being invaded by water by explosive evaporation. In 1910, an officer, Walter Kranz, demonstrates by experiments that the northern inner rise is the result of a single central explosion but he considered it to be the result of a volcanic eruption. In fact, nobody at the time could definitively explain all the particularities of the Nordlinger Rise. 1960, the American geologists, Eugene M. Shoemaker and Edward Zhao, were able to prove, by the analysis of the rocks, that the crater of the Nordlinger Rise came from an astronomical phenomenon. Indeed, the two modifications of the quartz due to very high pressures, cannot come from a volcanic activity. By studying more specifically stishavite and coesite, they deduce the meteoritic origin of the rise, 15 million years ago. The impactor would have had a diameter of about 1.5 kilometers and came from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Its speed of impact is estimated at 20 kilometers s. 72,000 kilometers h. The resulting explosion equals 1.8 million times the Hiroshima bomb. 150 cubic kilometers of rocks were ejected from the basement. Stones were projected for a distance of 70 kilometers. Tactites, Moldavites, were found 450 kilometers from the impact. Within a few minutes, a crater with a diameter of 25 kilometers and a depth of about 500 meters was formed. Just about any form of life within a radius of at least 100 kilometers suddenly disappeared. Over time, the crater was filled with water over an area of about 400 square kilometers, making it one of the largest European lakes. Without salt flow, the lake had the salinity of the present seas. During the next two million years, the lake was emptied. It is only at the Ice Age that it is eroded and covered with loess, which makes the rise a particularly fertile agricultural zone.